guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brie, if you are new here, and welcome back to Palette Throwback Thursdays. In today's video, I am going to be pairing together the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palettes with the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Rooftop Cocktails. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I pair these two products together, then just keep on watching. I, ever, you know, I did a really good job of starting filming and uh, not turning off the fans in the other room, so it was, you, we were probably able to hear them in the intro, not even turning on all my lights. I didn't, I just didn't, didn't do my job. It's fine. I'm going to start off with a big fluffy brush and I'm going to go into the shade Love Handles and start working that in as my transition. Um, Rooftop Cocktails has like this really nice like kind of rosy warm base to it so I feel like that's the colors that we're going to play into today. This was originally supposed to be a different cream shadow but I, I fucking hate the cream shadow that it got paired with and I it's really starting to dry out so just kind of blindly reached my hand into the newer drawer of super shocks and I was like oh this will be fun also I uh my husband's in a band and in June well June and July and kind of spanned over some time I filmed a music video for them and I have been editing it and um, I just have that song just over and over in my head. But I'll link the video up in the eye for you guys if you would like to see it. It's the first music video I've ever shot. Um, it's very much like behind the scenes-esque, like not, uh, not like super structured, but it's the first music video I've ever shot or edited. And um, honestly, I got quite a few clips to be like perfectly synced up with the music, so I'm real proud of that. But yeah, if you guys wanna check it out, that'd be cool. Um, I'm also filming another one for them in my time, it'll be in about a month, but for you guys, I think it's actually like literally right now, but. Next up, I'm gonna take, I'm trying to decide what I'm gonna do because I, you know, quite literally changed this 10 minutes before I started filming. Um, I'm gonna take a slightly smaller fluffy brush and I'm gonna go into thick skin and I'm gonna um, do something. I also, in my time, which it'll be very much done by the time you guys are seeing this video and like every, even by the time I'm editing this video, um, but in my time, in two days, I am working on my first client. Um, it's my best friend's husband, who's also one of my best friends, is a photographer and we've always kind of played around with the idea of like partnering up together and like him doing photography and me doing makeup. So technically, when I say I'm working on my first client, like, Rachel, you're the sweetest thing in the entire world, but technically, <laughs> your family, um, we're kind of doing like a test shoot sort of situation with his niece, just to kind of get like our flow you know, but I'm very excited about it. And she's clearly very excited about it, so that makes it worth it. But in theory, might be booking another client on Friday as well. Well, not doing it on Friday, but booking it on Friday, we'll see. And then after that, we're gonna start working on like, kind of promoting like a package deal situation. I'm gonna go back in with love handles and just kinda hmm, finesse. But yeah, so I have, to do, I'm doing that shoot in two days and it's my first like, you know, person outside. It's my first person using my kit. It's not the first person I've ever done makeup on by any means, but it's the first person with like a full blown kit. Um, so I'm like running through all the things that I need to do today. Like I need to wash all the brushes and make sure that they're like completely clean and ready to go. I need to make sure that I have literally everything. I have an Ulta order I have to pick up tomorrow of some like very last minute things that I wanted to add to the kit specifically for the look that I'm doing for her. And then I kind of figured, you know, as I get more people, book more people, I'll just kind of keep adding things in there. It's very basic at the moment, but I'm excited about it and it's a lot of really, really good products. So maybe at some point in the near future, I'll do like a what's in my makeup kit bag, depending on the vibe. 
Um, I honestly think that I'm gonna leave it here. I kind of like it like this. I am gonna take a rooftop cocktail on my finger. Oh, that has a nice summery vibe to it, doesn't it? I love this, this Super Shock. It's one of my favorites. I feel like I started to say that I was filming another music video for my husband's band, but then I didn't finish and I can't remember if I finished saying that or not. But yeah, I'm filming another music video for them that's gonna be more of like an actual like video video. All right, obviously didn't, didn't fucking go crazy here, but I think that it looks really pretty. So I, I like where we're starting. I like kind of the base of where we are right now. And I'm, I'm happy about that. I'm not happy about this under the skin pimple that I have right here. That's like super hard and painful. Not thrilled about that. Um, I'm gonna go fucking put on some makeup. <laughs> I'm gonna go put on my face and I'll be back to continue working on this look. Oh, you can see my hair glitter. Love that. Um, first things first, well, half first things first, Lola's screaming. Um, this may not be an issue. It might be an issue. We're gonna fucking find out. I am still testing a concealer that I tried in my testing the top rated drugstore products from Ulta. It was that, uh, Winky Lux concealer. This one right here. I, every single time I have worn this, I have not liked it. Now, I have not tried it since changing like how I do my base makeup and like how I powder my face and stuff like that. So I'm hoping that that's gonna make a difference. I also mixed it with the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Ser Serum Concealer to kind of maybe add a little bit more hydration to it because it was very, very drying looking every time I set my face. I'm hoping that when it comes time to set my face that um, it won't look ridiculous. All right, for cream bronzer, I'm gonna go in with the ABH cream bronzer in the shade Sunkissed. What I really need, and it definitely will not happen before I do her makeup on Friday, but what I really need is like a day that I don't work because I don't want that kind of pressure, but I need like a day that I don't work that I'm far enough ahead on content that I can get away with not filming content that day. And I need to just like sit down and like kind of play around and see some different application techniques for some different things. Cause I really want to kind of start implementing this way of doing makeup on clients, particularly clients with uh, drier skin or like normal to dry skin. Oily skin, I'm totally fine with just like powdering them down completely, but, um, and honestly, Rachel is, Rachel's 18. Like I could absolutely get away with probably powdering down her whole face and it wouldn't be an issue. Um, but I just kind of want to play around with this and like see if, I mean, obviously I could just do exactly what I'm doing and that's not a problem. And I, I've picked up a couple cream things to put in my kit that I, it's the stuff I have to pick up from Ulta, but what I really want to play around with is um, kind of the, because I've never done it. I've never, ever, ever done it. And all the years that I've ever done makeup, I've never done this. I want to play around with applying powder, bronzer, and blush onto unset foundation. I can't imagine that it would be that much different than what I'm doing now where I'm putting on cream bronzer and cream blush and then like going in and putting powder over the top. I can't imagine it being that different, but I really just need to play around with it before I try to do it on someone else's face, you know? But like, I also need it to be on a day that I'm not doing anything or filming anything because I don't I don't what if it looks bad you know that's where I'm at um next up I'm gonna go in with the LA girl soft matte cream Bl cream blush in the shade grace and a very 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 tiny amount on the back of my hand like super tiny amount and I also want to know like 
I have this really strong urge. Like I've been setting, I've been powdering my, whoa, that looks wild. I've been powdering my face with a velour puff, right? I'll take the velour puff directly into a powder foundation and I'll like press it and roll it onto my skin. That is how I've been setting my face. I'm gonna kind of blend this into my, where my eyeshadow is. Um, I really, really just want to test. I just want to know what it looks like. That's the thing. Like, I don't think that it's like a necessary step or like that it's going to be mind changing, but I really just want to take a velour puff directly into a, a, a blush or a bronzer. And I just want to, I just want to see, you know, I just want to know the vibes. Next up, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline City Bronzer in the shade 100. And typically I have to apply this bronzer with a much more dense brush, like when I'm putting it over powder. I'm not going to do that today, obviously. Let me get this little chunk that fell off of it. Hardest part about this bronzer is the fact that it's pretty fucking panned. So it's just a little bit difficult to evenly distribute product on my brush. All right, next up, I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl Just Blushing Blush in the shade Just Natural. I still just cannot get over how much this like smooths my skin out. It's insane. This blush is definitely gonna hard pan on me though, I can already tell. All right, again, looks crazy heavy right now. I'm gonna fucking clean it up with some powder foundation. Uh, I'll be right back. All right, well, I'm still kind of, you know, in the learning curve of learning you know what I mean? While I'm still on the learning curve of like kind of changing how I apply my makeup, um, I've learned a couple things today. Thing one, still don't fucking like that concealer. I'm gonna give it one more shot with a different pressed powder and then we'll see from there. Um, but I feel like I've given this enough shots. Uh, thing two I've learned, I do not like using a lighter under eye setting powder. Like I, I could be doing my under eyes. Um, I do not like using an, a lighter under eye setting powder like I used to. I used to use a brighter under eye setting powder and then a more closer to my skin tone underneath my, or on the rest of my face. I uh, am not a fan of that now. Um, so you live and you fucking learn. Um, still gonna have to deal with it because I have a whole e.l.f. camo powder foundation that is lighter than my face. So I'm gonna have to use that bitch up, but uh, and thing number three is um, I am still working out how I like can set my whole face without completely covering up like the foundation and the bronzer that I've put on. Um, still figuring that whole thing out. So after I powdered my face, I did go back in and kind of touch up the bronzer and the blush a little bit, and I used the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Sunset Passion. It's literally all I'm going to do to my under eyes. For my highlight, I'm going to use the Revlon Skin Lights Highlighter in the shade Daybreak Glimmer. And again, I'm just, I've been really loving, um, just fucking putting this everywhere, honestly. I'm probably gonna put a little bit of a glow powder on my forehead as well. All right, that's that. I'm gonna go finish up the rest of my face. For my lips, I'm gonna use the NYX Shout Loud Satin Lipstick in the shade A La Mode, and I will be back to show you guys the final look. I, just, I, did, I, just, I tried to start without filming. I'm also not wearing my rings. Okay, well, that's a thing. Not putting them on now. Um, that's gonna wrap up today's video. This is the final look. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm a fucking mess today. Kind of making a last minute adjustment to which cream shadow I was going to be using. Um, love the way that this eye look turned out. Again, I realized I did not do anything crazy. I used a whole two eyeshadows from the palette. Uh, but it's super pretty. And honestly, this is like one of my favorite, like I just really think that this style of eyeshadow is very pretty. Um, very just classic, easy glam, you know, not too crazy, not too overwhelming, just kind of is. Um, and also I have like 15 different tutorials using this palette on my channel. So if you guys are looking for more inspiration with the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette, they're going to be in a bunch of different playlists, honestly. Uh, and yeah, 
like I said, that's going to wrap up today's video. And I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you like the look. You know, I have another video to film after this. So this is going to be just... Mm -hmm. It's going to be a good one. Yeah, I'm going to wrap this shit up before I just fucking keep rambling and don't make sense. Comment down below and let me know how you would use these two products together. I would love to know. Please subscribe if you have not already. It would mean the world to me. Like this video, ring the bell, do all the things. I hope that you guys have an awesome, awesome day and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. <laughs>